And four H in each here. Gonna try to pull out a weak signal here on 40 meters with the FTDX 5000. So here we go. Digital noise reduction. Increasing this. Well, there we go. <laughs> take care of that carrier. Uh, I increased the filter width a little bit to add some fidelity back that you lose a little you lose a little bit of fidelity with the uh, digital noise reduction. And uh, boy somebody is tuning over the top of this week signal. Okay now I'm going to add the micro tune also called a new tune. And I'm tuning a little bit away from center frequency, you see. Much improved signal to noise ratio. You just gotta love the uh, Yaesu FTDX 5000 MP Limited and uh, the features that it has. That, uh, that micro tuner, that's the um, external pre selector you'll see in the display there, uh, right there, micro tune or some people call it Mew Tuner. Um, mine is located over here. I've got the 8040 unit, which also covers 60 meters. So um, anyway, thought I'd give you a quick little demonstration of um, effectively using that uh, micro tuner in conjunction with DSP. I'm gonna disengage everything before I go so you can hear the difference. No micro tuner. Changing to default filter width. No digital noise reduction. So of course the idea is to improve the signal to noise ratio. And let me leave on a positive note here. Digital noise reduction. Filter width. I can widen that if I want it. Or narrow. This sounds pretty good at 2.5. And micro tuner. Yeah, there's some insertion loss with the micro tuner, but uh, it's all about signal to noise ratio. Really, it's all about intelligibility. So, I hope that uh, this video was informative to you. 73 from N4 HNH, not for hide nor hair.